circle, radius, diameter and chord. You have already learned about the radius and diameter of a circle. Let's revise it quickly and learn about the chord of a circle. How do we name a circle? This is a circle. How do you know that it is a circle? It is round and it has no end points. How do we name a circle? We name it by its center point. This circle is called circle P. Radius of the circle. The radius is any line segment that connects the center to any point on the circle. We can draw many lines from the center and all these lines are of the same length. Diameter of the circle A diameter is any line that touches the edges of the circle and passes through its center. The diameter is made up of two radii, PR and PQ. Diameter is always double the radius. Radius is always half the diameter. Let's learn more about circle. What is a circle? A curve that does not cross itself and ends at the same point where it begins is called a closed curve. A circle is a closed curve in a plane. If you can draw it without lifting your pencil and you end up where you started, then it will be a closed curve. So now we know what is a closed curve. Now let's see what does a plane mean. What is a plane? When we draw something on a flat piece of paper, we are drawing on a plane. Also, the top of a table, the floor and a board are all like a plane. A plane is a flat surface with no thickness. Center of a circle. Now let's look at each part in detail. For every circle, this single point is fixed and it does not change. A circle consists of many points in it. The distance around a circle is called its circumference. All such points in this circle are at the same distance or are equidistant from a single point in this circle. This fixed point equidistant inside a circle is called center. In this circle, its center is point C. A circle has one and only one center. The distance around a circle is called its circumference. Circular region A circle divides a plane into three parts. The points inside the circle, the points outside the circle and the points on the circle. Points C, F and G are inside the circle. Points A and E are outside the circle. Points B and D are on the circle. The interior of a circle together with its circumference is called the circular region. Radius or radii for plural. Take any point on the circle. Let's name it A. Join point A and point C which is the center of the circle. The segment joining the center of a circle and any point on the circle is called radius of the circle. Here Segment CA and segment CB are some of the radii of this circle. 
infinite number of radii can be drawn in a circle. All radii of a circle are equal in length. So radius CB, radius CA, radius CD and radius CE are all equal in length. Chord A is a point on the circle. B is another point on the circle. Join A and B like this. A line segment that joins any two points on the circle is called a chord. Infinite number of chords can be drawn in a circle. A circle has many different chords. Some chords pass through the center and some do not. Diameter Take a point A on the circle. Draw a line passing through A and the center O. It touches the circle again at point B. What is segment AB? It is a line segment with end points that lie on the circle. So it is a chord. It is a special chord as it also passes through the center of the circle. This kind of chord is called a diameter. A chord that passes through the center of a circle is called the diameter of the circle. Infinite number of diameters can be drawn in a circle. As the radii of the circle are equal in length, its diameters too are equal in length. Did you understand the parts of a circle?